breakfast is served. Oh. Amina. <laughs> she came at 6 30. Time to leave. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna get jackets yeah. and the boots. Oh yes. Yes. And the getters. And this is the food we have packed. Oh, oh uh, my camera. Hey everyone! Hi, Hi everyone! <laughs> See you! <laughs> Let's start in the bundle. No. Anna Clay, yes. morning. Good morning. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's going to be very nice. Yeah. Yes. That is the pathway to water. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Oh, that is the pathway to water. Um, hey guys, welcome and welcome back to another video. I really hope everyone is doing amazing. Yeah, so it's a beautiful morning from here in in Musanze in Volcanoes National Park. And today I'm so excited for this video, guys. This activity we are going to do. We are going to do gola trekking for the first time, guys. I'm very very excited. Oh my god! We are here at the park, so we are going to get a briefing. Then we got to see Godila. So I'm here with the group of influencers so they are coming from different countries and uh, yeah so this is so amazing yeah so thank you so much rdb visit Rwanda for this trip this amazing trip and uh, yeah So hi guys, this is Tala Chanelli here and I'm super excited to see the gorillas. This is the first time I'm doing something like this. I'm, I've been looking forward to this for the longest time and I get to experience it. Like dreams really come true. And yeah, I'm ready. I am so excited. Like this is the point of this whole trip for me. So today we're going gorilla trekking. Guys. I cannot wait to climb that mountain and see those gorillas. Let's go there. Yeah. Hey guys, it's your girl Miss Drew, your hostess with the mostest. I'm so excited. I'm gonna see gorillas close up in their natural habitat for the first time. Oh. Yes, it's gonna be lit, so make sure you keep watching. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, I'm Shamaka from Nigeria and I'm so excited to be hiking or trekking the gorillas today, guys. I've dreamt of this for a very long time and it's finally happening. I'm so excited and yeah, I can't wait to see the mountain gorillas. Oh Rwanda. Yeah. I'm Amina from Maghrib, and I'm telling you something that has been seen so full gorilla. Okay, I said I'm Amina from Morocco, and I'm so excited to oh. go out to see the gorilla. Yeah. <laughs> and then we are hey, vlogging. <laughs> Guys, we are wearing. You can come with yours or you can lend them here. And this one belongs to the hotel. Yeah. And this one, we got it them from hotel. How sweet is that? Guys. <laughs> Hello, guys. So it's Kaliji from Ghana. And this is like my first time seeing the silver bag gorillas. I've seen them in movies and this is like my first time and it's exciting there. The weather here is very cold and we had to get like some, we had to get like some kind of boots to wear for the journey. It looks exciting, there are a lot of people here. And I really like the weather so I think it's going to be good. It's going to be interesting, it's going to be fun. I hope it don't rain, so I'm going to like rain. <laughs> Look at you! So I'm Sylvia from Kenya. I love hiking, but this is a special, special hike and pose. We are going to the to discover the mountains and see the gorillas in the land. <laughs> So I'm excited because my first time here, just in Rwanda, and the trip to the track. But yeah, I'm excited. It's gonna be amazing, guys. 
Very excited. Very excited to see the, the gorillas for the first time. And now um, the different experience from what I have done so far. And uh, yeah, the food. So it's nice. And you know, don't forget to speak their the language. Yeah? Yeah, you, learn, you know how to speak their language. You know how you learn. to go to the monkeys as today for us it's just gorillas gorillas which is located in the Hironga Massif uh, Hironga Massif it's a big forest which is bordering in the three different countries Rwanda, Congo, Uganda so one side it's in Rwanda we have Rokanos and Ashoka then behind it's in the Congo that is Hironga Ashoka then another side in Uganda that is Mugahinga Gorilla Ashoka then uh, in Uganda there is another big forest which is called uh, Bwindi in Peninsula National Park. Also there is another Monte Legulas. So the Monte Legulas they are endangered species. Uh, now the last population we have is only 1,004 gorillas. This is the census we did it, uh, five years ago. Uh, because every seven years we do the census to see how the population is. So we are now leaving, we are going to head to. Guys, it starts raining now. I don't know if, if we are going to do Gorilla, but by fire, but of course, we should do Gorilla. is giving African massage sheep sheep This is our starting point. We are getting the stick, walking stick, so that we can go hiking. I don't know how far we are going to see because we are going to get those info how far the gorillas we are going to look. And other thing is that they are just communicating. So they might know the place, but not exactly because they are always moving, moving. So that's why they are always in touch with other people who are inside the park. Ah. So among the communities we have the porters. The porters are the people who help the tourists to carry the bags. Mm -hmm. So that's why you see the team of the people standing there. So if you need some of them, you can help us. Yeah, I have to pay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, help us. Oh, yes. no. But we don't have any bag. <laughs> so we are now going to start our trail. Yeah. 
Cardi J. Mm. Hey. The crops you see here with the, with the white flowers, you call them pilotlums. So you make it insect size. Oh, they are very common here. Really? <laughs> so, there's a... Uh... Guys. Hi, Amina. Amina is from Morocco. Hi. 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 Stella, she's vlogging. <laughs> this is the life of vloggers, guys. <laughs> YouTubers, even even if it's rain doesn't rain, so we have to make sure we give you a good content. Yeah, so as we go up, the rain still. Guys, <sighs> yes, we are still outside the park, and uh, yeah, we are about to head home. Inside the park. Oh. Not the top. This the the big leaf of the trees. The big trees. They could get in the trees without the park. Guys, we have helicopter which is in charge of our security now. It's moving, moving around. That is our. <laughs> So guys, we are passing into the Irish potatoes plantation for the local people who live nearby, who live nearby. Yeah. How is the experience so far? I cannot talk, I'm tired. No! So we are taking a short break here. And they can see the view behind me. Oh my god, the mountains. <laughs> Drew, how are you? <coughs> I'm good. I'm tired, but I'm good. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, we are very, very excited for this. We have the big project to, to extend the park. Oh. <laughs> so, where we left the car, it will be in the, uh, in the park. Wow. Okay. Guys, they are going to extend the park until down where we have parked the car. Yeah, which is so good. So for the people who will not be able to hike, they can see them easily because they can park the um, the the car there and then they see the the gorillas easily. <laughs> Fresh. Yeah, only inhaling not because we are unfit. Always from here. Yes. I thought we have done almost 30 minutes. Uh, guys, we are just entering the park. This is the real park, guys. This is the natural habitat for the gorillas. So, before to meet the gorillas, I would like to tell you how you're going to behave here in the forest and in front of the gorillas. Um, I told you, apart from the gorillas, here we have the other animals, like buffaloes and elephants. So, you know, they are not friendly animals. That's why from here we have uh, one pack ranger as well as the guy. So, it's here for ourselves. In case we meet a buffalo or elephant, you can scare them using the gun. So, here in the forest, there is no toilet. But... Uniform. You can need it anytime. In case we need a toilet, it's better to let us know before. And I have to show the good place where there are no stimulators, ants, or buffalo, just the soft place. Uh, it's not allowed to leave any rubbish in the place. You keep everything in the place. 
Also, it's not allowed to take anything from the forest, like fruits, flowers, or other things. So, once we be near by the gorillas, uh, I'll give you the time to be fire. I will show the place where you leave your walking sticks and your backpacks. We have to leave our, bag, our sticks behind because still now the gorillas are having the bad memory of, po of poaching problems. So many years ago, uh, the poachers used the spears to turn to them. That's why in the case you take the sticks to the gorillas, you can disturb them. So, after leaving the sticks and our backpacks, we meet the gorillas. Of course, we take your cameras, then we meet the gorillas. So with the gorillas, we stay one hour. That's maximum time. The end of one hour, we leave them. Because in the case we stay more than one, you can stress them. So with the gorillas, we stay, we, we stay together. We keep a tight group. And you take pictures for them, but don't use flash. Flash camera scare the gorillas. To eat. To eat, to drink with the gulas, it's not allowed. You can do that before or after leaving them. Then, it's not, it's not good to point the gulas with, with the fingers like that. Because when you point them like this, uh, the thing you have, so if your hands, you want to throw to them. So don't point them. But eye contact, no problem. You can face them, even the silver. The distance we have to keep from uh, to the gorillas, we keep 10 meters. But sometimes it's not easy to keep a good distance uh, because of the type of the, the vegetation. Sometimes sometime the vegetation, where it's too much dense, you can use, reduce it to be a distance. Also, the most of the time, uh, that distance can change because of the behavior of the gorillas. Because the gorillas, they are more friendly to human, so they don't mind to come close to us. In case the gorillas come close to us, what we do, we have to move back slowly, then we make sure that we have good distance. In case the gorillas come, come to us using the same way we are, what we do, we have to go to one side, we give it away, then the gorillas come to us. In the case the gorillas come to you to touch you, it's like an orphan. To touch you, to grab you like this, <laughs> or to kick you. So that is always a friendly interaction. That means, in that case, please don't be scared. It's normal behavior. They do that for fun. But for you, you are not allowed to touch them back, of course. Okay. Why? Don't touch them back. Uh, for the silverback and other big boys, they are always more confident. They want to show you how strong they are. Sometimes they come to you, uh, they beat on the chest, they, make, they break some big trees, or making the big noise. I know it's scary, but yeah. in that case what we do, it's not like this. And then, you talk to them. Wow. <laughs> what do I say? Hello. Hello. You speak your language. What's their language? <laughs> we are practicing how to make. Let's all go. Including <laughs> resting time. Just we have just two hours to make one last. Cannot wait to meet them. Okay, are we ready? Yes, we are. Bamboo are native here, and uh, bamboo are one of the best food for gorillas. 
for the grass, the eat leaves. Sometimes you can see the girl as a climbing in the bamboo. In the bamboo? Yes. Uh, you will see that the big males, but the, for the males, they break down the bamboo because. Yeah, so, oh my god, drops. Guys, I'm so, so, so excited. It's my first time. I've never seen Kalilas. Yeah, Kalija behind. <laughs> <laughs> I want to remind you something. The animals we are visiting, we call them mountain gorillas. That means uh, to hike the mountain, it's part of our experience today. Just we can't meet the gorillas without hiking. We hike first, then we meet the gorillas. So from here we have uh, a steep oh uh, place, but it is short. Uh, okay. We hike like 15 minutes to be done. Mm. After 15 minutes, we'll be in a flat place again. Hallelujah. Yeah. So just be ready to hike this steep place <laughs> for 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You have to be careful. No. Oh. Uh, uh, so here, uh, this is the same home range of our gorilla groups from the starting point to the top of the mountain. So belong to one gorilla family. Uh, Just one family? Just one family. How many are there in the family? One. Uh, okay. No, our family has 21 members. Mm -hmm. wow. But uh, the families we have, they have this different size. Okay. <coughs> so, in the case two families meet in the same place, they do fight. Oh God. Uh, that's why they try to avoid. I'm saying this forest is the uh, oldest natural park in Africa. It has been created in 1925. Because the gorillas here uh, were identified for the first time in 1902 by a German. So after a few years, in 1925, the king of Belgium decided to create this forest as the first national park in Africa, just for gorilla conservation purpose. Uh, that's why some trees look old, very old. Large black guys, banana, kalije, banana, mm, team banana. Mm. What's it? Banana. <laughs> a cake, a snack. Yeah. <laughs> She's embarrassing us. Chanel. <laughs> team Ghanians. They like to eat. Mm. So we are getting the mask. Okay, how are you? Just a family. Thank you. 
the bag and the female and the kids. So cute. Guys, so foggy, it's too foggy. You can't see anything. <laughs> I can't come